say you're working on a oil and gas plant and where you have two tanks that has been newly created and these are in two sides of the plant the managers ask you to connect both the tanks with a few pipelines now to create that once you have the map of the whole plant you can create those pipelines from one part to another but now you need to know which are ways or which path you need to follow that's the first thing the second is uh, what will be the different elements of those pipes and third um, what will be uh, the different um, angles that you want to consider to create something like that you will be using a tool called swept boss and base so let's see an example let's say you know the path how your object is gonna go so let's start with that um, I'm creating a uh, sketch on the front plane which will be work as our path so say this is one of the paths that you are looking for okay straight path no complications uh, maybe you can draw something different altogether that's completely up to you so once you have that you also need a profile so in this case we want to create a profile of the pipelines now to do that you need to make sure that you're drawing the profile perpendicular to one of the corners or the vertices of the path you have created okay and this is pretty important to do so what we're going to do is create a perpendicular plane here okay. we haven't shown you how to create a perpendicular plane so please um, carefully monitor how i'm creating it okay so go into this called reference geometry and we're going to select something called plane okay. so now the, for the first reference what we're going to do is select this path itself okay you see it's yellowish so you already know that maybe it's not covering all the selected constraints it's not fully defined ill defined for the second reference what we're going to do is select this as you've selected this it has already created a perpendicular as you can see here a perpendicular um, plane so it's perpendicular to the path and coincides with the point as you can see on the second reference point once you have done so click ok and now you have the new plane created for you okay fun so on the new plane what we're gonna do is first right click on it and select this which is called normal tool okay now it's normal to the object we want to work with now the plane right click again and click sketch so we are going to create a profile here so i'm going to select the circle and select a circle with let's say some thickness two millimeters for this example let's see or if you want you can just make it a little larger of okay, smart dimension Let's see. Well, I'm going to make it as a 10 millimeter pipe. Okay, so this is how it will look like. So we exit the sketch. Okay, now we have the path and the profile that we need to draw our pipeline. Straightforward. So, what we're going to do, go to the feature tab, select this option called swept, boss, and base. The left property manager you will see this option where the first box identifies or represents this uh, profile and the second one represents the path so okay so we're going to select this uh, the pro profile itself and select the option on the next box we're going to select the path itself as you can see it has created the path for us now the, uh, with this what we have created because we're planning on creating a pipeline but this is a solid uh, circle that following the profile to create a pipeline we need um, hollow inside right so we, what we can do is select this thin feature and select the thickness of the pipe itself let's say one millimeter for this example and once you're done just click ok and now you have your pipeline created we can do 
or create some fun patterns using our sketch tools and using the swept a boss and base tool okay so let's create another sketch and see what we can do with that okay so i'm going into the front plane and creating something like this then um, i'm gonna exit the sketch again reference plane we know the drill uh, select the path select the vertices and you will get a perpendicular plane on that one we can create the sketch select the profile you want to create again i'm just going with a circle because reasons and once you're done is the sketch okay um, i'm just going to create another one sketch and create an offset entities from the original path okay uh, let's say let's give it five millimeters somewhere along this line and click okay now this is going to be the exact same thing as what we have on the other one okay so now let's see we're going to go into the sip boss and base select the circular profile select the path itself and as you can see it has created our sort boss and base now if you notice carefully the other one i created is along the surface of what we have that is also called a guided curve so sometimes you you will see that the design you're creating the swept boss and base you're creating will have some turns and twists around that but if you create this guiding line uh, it will usually usually follow that uh, sometimes if you're not following the constraints correctly it might fail but usually it will follow the same constraints 